Okay guys, here I'm gonna blow dry a oh, classic hairstyle. The mannequin I'm using is a pivot point. Uh, the cut is already tapered here, right? Let me just take the mannequin out for a second. I section just above the crown, right here. This is your highest point right here. So I section right under, right there. I section right here as well, right from the top of the ear on the side, right there. Also on the crown here from the temple, as you can see here. And same thing on this side, right? All right, so this is gonna take some time. Uh, I'm just gonna keep on blow drying and styling and work uh, on this session. This is my practice anyway, so this might take about an hour or so. You guys are welcome to watch. Comment and go as you like. Uh, I'm gonna blow dry first, and then I'm gonna comb out and finish the style. So yesterday I did a quick uh, you know explanation of the style and today I'm gonna do the style all right so for my tools I'm using a nine row brush this is a sample I actually don't have these brushes and I don't know where you can get them it's very firm right here it's very important it's firm it's a light brush It's actually a very nice brush I'm sorry I'm not answering any questions right now I have no time to read them so I apologize for that in advance. All right, I'm gonna slightly lean my mannequin forward. All right, guys, don't forget to share my work and don't forget to subscribe, please. All right, this is very important. I think blow drying is extremely important for, uh, uh, for finishing your styles. Uh, to build your clientele, you have to really finish your uh, hairstyle and stand out from everybody else. Blow dryer I'm using it's a ba it's a babeless. Uh, it's very light blow dryer. It's very nice. It's a little bit long, and you have to use an air concentrator. All right, so I'm gonna use it here on a medium heat. So it's a medium, and I'm gonna use medium air as well. All right, I'm gonna hold my blow dry on a brush. So first thing I did here, first thing I did here, I set the roots and I create low volume. I want to create this straight up and then flat. Okay, so I created a little volume here. Now I'm gonna uh, uh, dry this hair and make sure it's straight and nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Point there here guys, uh, it is important that when you're blow drying your hair, that your brush and a blow dry work together. As you can see here, that uh, my blow dry and a brush are parallel to each other. They are not like this or like this or the blow dryer is above the brush or way too under. They are right parallel. So my blow dryer is gonna dry the hair and the brush and the brush is gonna just, you know, guide the hair and blow dry is gonna follow right there and they work parallel to each other. All right?
everything goes from here down to center right so everything goes right to center so the from center it goes straight down and then all these hairs slightly go on angle towards the center right here right and you are since the head is running you're gonna kind of create some volume here and here so you get a nice and flat here all right now we're gonna and remember every hair counts okay I'll take next section I'm using only water okay I'm using here about inch, inch and a half sections. It is important that you section the hair and you blow dry the roots. If the roots are not dry in this style, it will not hold. So it is really important that you blow dry the, the, the roots and you set the roots properly. Now I know this is not entertaining, I know this is not probably fun to watch, but you know no education is entertaining or fun to watch. Uh, so I make my videos educational, not entertaining. Uh, so to learn, you really have to stick with education, not entertainment. All right, so now I created a volume here, right? I'm at the top of the crown. Now I'm gonna blow dry the sides right I'm gonna work on this side and this side and I'm gonna finish the, the back before I move to the top okay I'm gonna raise this mannequin slightly higher right I'm gonna start with my right side okay so what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna blow dry this a little bit up this here I'm gonna take it higher and over up and over so this is gonna go kind of a little bit up I'm gonna push the roots up and then over and down right there is actually a lot of work to this it's not just a, it looks pretty simple but it's not as simple as it might look If you guys can see here I'm not sure how clear you can see there but this here goes slightly up and it rounds down almost creates like an arch now this type of work is mostly for competitions this type of style when it's done your you know the you know the the hair hairstyle almost look like you don't know where it starts where it begins where it ends you know it should be really smooth so we're gonna work on the other side now I'm gonna get the other blow dryer. I dropped this one so many times that it's too loud now. Mm. 
This is my co-workers. Don't tell them I used it. You see, it's a lot. It's a lot quieter. Mine is very loud. a little bit I'm gonna use I'm gonna start with this brush but I'm gonna switch off there to the Bristol brush you see what's important here guys I want to point this out see all this hair that's sticking out the hair is sticking out here this is here a mess so all that has to be really nice and neat it has to be smooth right now I just created a base I, I blow dry the the base and created the direction but now I have to polish it actually otherwise you really won't look good okay so now let's polish that, that that's the difference between uh, a nice hairstyle and just the uh, average style so for polishing I'm gonna use some shine spray I'm just gonna spray the here here and center. I want this to be smooth so all this counts. Alright, let's start from the roots. Right, guys so now I'm gonna switch to this brush it's a Bristol brush this is about 40 years old brush so uh, my coach actually gave it to me this is a brush he used uh, for the world competition in 1984 uh, with this brush I'm gonna actually now polish and stretch the hair okay
right now I'm going to uh, comb the hair. Or shine. The other side. You see, I have to blow dry, I mean, I have to comb the hair exactly in the same direction that I blow dried it. So you have to keep in mind that when you are using your brush that your blow dryer goes in the same direction as your brush, that your blow dryer doesn't contradict your brush and then when you are combing it your uh, comb should not contradict your blow dryer and a brush. Okay. Now we're going to move to the top. Okay, now we're going to take sections and go, go this way. All right, guys, I'm going to be teaching class in. Uh, Sarasota, Florida, January 28th on the razor work, uh, scissor work, and blow drying and styling. Uh, I think blow drying and styling is the most difficult part of our industry. It really is not easy to master blow drying. Uh, just waving the blow dryer around uh, and drying the hair is really not uh, what it is. Uh, this is an art itself, just like fading or like scissor work or anything else. So it is very important. If you want to separate yourself from the competition and build your clientele, learn how to blow dry and style. It is very important. Guys, this brush, uh, I'm going to try to actually get him, but I have to uh, get about a thousand of them for them to ship them to me. So if you are interested in a brush like this, let me know if you would be interested in pre-ordering them. I, will, I like to see how many people would be interested. So I, I'll probably go ahead on and uh, make an order for uh, this brush. It really is good brush for, uh, for blow drying and styling.
for you guys that are just dropping in or leaving what I was saying earlier it is very important that you set the roots so if you see once I set the roots even if I mess the hair up you see whatever I do the, the hair goes right back in place because the roots are set see that so it is very important that you first you set the roots after that you go ahead and polish the hair and make it you know nice and smooth For you guys that are in school, it is very important that when you are learning the art of uh, hairstyling, that you actually learn proper techniques. Uh, it is not easy that uh, once you learn the th you know the bad habits, it's not easy to break them. Uh, so it's it's way better if you just when you start learning the the, the art, l learn the proper techniques right off. I see even educators out there that uh, do excellent haircuts. I'm not putting anybody down, but uh, I think the bad habits they developed over the, uh, I guess, very at the beginning, uh, they still stick with them. You know, the not not holding the comb properly, uh, or opening and closing the scissors properly. Uh, it's just to mention some type of things that I see. And uh, educators, that, by the way, do good job. But I mean, you know. Uh, if you are passionate about something, you want to do it to the best of your ability. That's all I'm saying. And you know something? Uh, practice makes it perfect, you know. Um, I've done this to the level of the world competition. Uh, and... Uh, I don't need to do this today or tomorrow or you know or any time I mean my blow drying is I think good enough now for my clientele for the type of work I do but I still come uh, like on day like today which is my day off and I practice for a couple of hours blow drying and styling and different techniques so I think practice makes it perfect and you know keeps you always uh, motivated so I think you should always keep on practicing just to show here right now I'm at the center of the head right uh, until this point I was slightly uh, rate creating volume so I can make this level to this point right so this can be flat from here now I'm at the, at the top next few sections right I'll keep like next two fingers or so a couple inches I'm gonna keep uh, simply flat right I'm not gonna create any volume uh, after that I'm going to start creating a volume towards the front. So I was from the center and back, I was creating volume so I can keep this high, right? So now I'm going to keep it flat in the center. And then from this point, when I about two inches in, I'm going to start creating volume towards the front. So I have that since the head is running from here, from the head is running down and head is running this way too. So this part is going to be flat and then I'm going to start creating volume towards the front okay the highest point uh, the highest point obviously has to be straight from your nose up here so this should be your highest point in this case it's going to be round but if you do regular pompadour it sh this should be your highest point and then you should start dropping this way and dropping back okay all right so let's keep on working I'm going to do a couple more sections here and then I'm going to turn the mannequin around, okay? And I know, guys, I said it's not going to be fun, entertaining, so 
stick around if you want to see the end uh, and you will get a lot of uh, beneficial information and let me know if you guys are interested on pre-ordering these brushes it's a, a nine roll brush right it will be selling somewhere about between 18 and 20 bucks So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to work on this part here, I'm going to connect uh, the top and the sides here. This is a tricky part actually, very tricky part here and the, mo the I think the most difficult part is the front as well. So let's damp the hair slightly, the hair has already dried. All right, let's take this part out. So this has to be connected as such that you don't see any breakage or stoppage. It shouldn't go this way and then this way. It should be all nice and smooth. So you shouldn't see any breakage or, or disconnection. It should just kind of like fan nice, okay? I'm not sure if I can zoom. Let me just see. All right, yes I can, I guess. All right, I'm gonna keep it at that, okay. Oh, and let's work on that. I like to hold the brush, uh, the blow dryer this way. So it's easier to, uh, when I work here, it's easier to control. Yo guys, so the, the head is running here as well, so you have to create a volume here as well. So this has to come out straight. From this point, it has to come out straight up, okay? I know it's a little tricky though.
All right, guys, let's see this. I hope you can see this pretty clear. I know the hair is dark, so it's kind of difficult to see. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, so we did that side. Let's switch to the other side. Gonna work, same thing. We don't want any hair dropping here. This ha the roots have to be set. And as I said, guys, this is an art. It's just like drawing a picture or anything else. You have to enjoy it. It's a lot of patience uh, and just if you enjoy it, you'll do it. All right. It's a lot easier, guys, if you learn how to use both hands, right and left, and alternate when you need. Like in this case, I'll have to use my right hand here, and on the other side, I use my left hand. So it is very important that you learn both hands. It's a lot easier, really, when it comes to blood drying. So it is important that you set the roots really, I mean I can't stress that enough here because they collapse, collapse very fast. If the roots are not done good, they just collapse.
combing, combing is very important. You gotta be very light-handed. You cannot be heavy-handed here. Then you can spray some shine and go over with your comb. And you know guys, the better it gets, the more satisfaction you get. All right, so let's work on the front now. All right, I'm gonna take a section here. I'm gonna start creating volume now. See, if you put your comb flat from this point, you see when a comb starts getting away from the scalp, that's when you have to slowly create volume until you get to this point right here. See how much volume we have to create here? So that has to be done like that. All right, let's see how we're doing here back to blow drying I'm setting the roots and just stretching the hair it is very important that the direction of the hair goes straight from the nose up over straight back and down okay This is the highest point, it's dropping this way, it's, the hair is contouring. So we're Hello. gonna start creating the volume right here, okay? important that you use the mirror to make sure this is level if I'm looking here this side is a little bit lower all right let's take the next section Close, yeah, it's close. It's close. Yeah, it's
to make sure that this section is really clean because after this I'm gonna have to do the front and the front is really the most I mean a lot of things are difficult about this style it takes about two years to master this style and to just to learn how to blow dry and style it to the master's level but there is no such a thing as perfection uh, I mean, it's just not easy style every hair counts the way it goes uh, the balance counts the you know how smooth it is counts everything counts so you know this is actually not undercut Let's, I'm gonna, before I move to the front, I'm gonna balance it a little bit and polish a little bit, okay? So let's uh, raise the mannequin slightly higher, just about that, so it's easier for me to work on it. Oh, let's just see where we are here. Alright guys, if you master this hairstyle, if you learn how to properly blow dry and style this, this hairstyle, which is classic, styling and creating any style will be a piece of cake for you after that. It really will be because this one takes so much, you know, precision, the balance, the shine, the smoothness, 
you know, I mean, the whole thing is just uh, getting this one down. It, it really is. Let's see how we're looking there. Thumbs up. See, nice, shiny, smooth. All right. <laughs> Now we're gonna actually do the most difficult part, which is uh, this area, the last section. It took me a long time to get this one down. And still I'm kind of, you know, struggling on this front and not just me anybody who works on this style the first thing the first thing we look is at the front how it was done and really it this is a uh, not easy so what I'm gonna do here guys I, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick the front up I'm gonna set the roots So I'm gonna set the roots, right? But I'm gonna try to bring the front slightly out and over, right? So it's gonna come out, out and over. And I'm gonna put a crease right around, okay? So let's see how it comes out. First thing I do is I set the roots.
Now I'm gonna switch to the high heat because I'm gonna just polish now. The roots are set. I'm gonna create a crease. Alright guys, so let's comb out this, it's been an hour of practice. I'm gonna just comb it out. See what I did. And see what I have to do better next time. That's practice. Now I'm just combing the hair in the direction that I blow dried it. Work on the back.
some working spray. So I put shine spray first, it's oil, and then I put the hairspray so the hairspray doesn't take hold fast. So I can work with it, it gives me shine. So let's see some of these questions that we have. Okay, so the question says that the the style is nice, but this nobody wears this hairstyle anymore. This is from 70s. That's true. Probably in the 70s, this hairstyle was not that popular either that much. However, this is one of the most difficult ha hairstyles to create. So if you really want to become good in hairstyling, you have to master this one. That's why in the world competition, they use this one uh, for hairstyling. So if you can master this one, then you are really good in hairstyling. Let me just see some other questions here. Uh, let's see, there is really not. Uh, Brazil, hi, hi to Brazil. I see a lot of... Uh, hello from England. Okay, so basically there is really not that many questions. I'm just gonna continue on finishing this hairstyle and continue with my training. So I'm gonna work here on the bombage, the front part, which is this part right here that comes out and this way right there. So first thing I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna comb it right there I'm gonna put some oil then I'm gonna set the roots and set it set this in place some oil right there some hairspray and nice let's turn to the side so what's difficult about this hairstyle is that you have to watch the balance the direction of the hair 
and smoothness. Now you gotta like this type of work. This is, as I say, it's an art. It's like drawing a picture. guys see that see that this side actually came out better than the other side you can see the crease is really nice you see right here the balance is good I like that you have nice bombage here you see this and it goes flat. Okay, that's okay. Just reminding you guys about my class that's coming up in January 28th, Sarasota, Florida, Southside Barber Shop, Southside Village Barber. Um, for more information you can check my website mcbarber.com all right so let's check the top now the top we got to finish the top but we got to be careful we don't ruin the front and the, the sides for that I have a special comb I have to work slow light and make sure the hair goes In the right direction the direction of the hair is very important hey listen guys if you like to compete this is your ticket right here I competed in about 15 different competitions I competed four times in Connecticut Barber Expo which is the largest barber expo in the world uh, we get barbers from around the world uh, we get approximately about 7,000 barbers in the house. Uh, I was fortunate enough to win nine trophies in Connecticut Barber Expo. And last year I was, no, 2016, I was the grand champion, the best faith, best traditional, most sanitary barber and most professional barber. Uh, as well, IBS New York. I was competing in France in the world competition as well last year. Uh, I did okay. Hopefully I do a lot better this year. Uh, so I'm speaking out of experience. If you like to compete, these are your type. This is the type of... The details, it, what's, the details is what really counts. Most of the barbers out there are excellent in the bulk of the work. I was telling my barber the other day, one of my barbers, I said, listen, what separates masters from average is the details. The details are very important. Now I'm going to actually use a tool like this, all right? And I'm gonna try to make this flat and shiny. So let's see how this works, huh?
right, guys. So what do you guys think? Any comments? All right, so guys, think. let me know what you think. Any comments on what I've done so far? comments all right guys hey what's up eric italy let me just get this phone call someone is just calling me i gotta get it one second hello hello All right, guys, uh, that was my training session today. Uh, it was a uh, pleasure sharing my training with you guys today. And uh, I'll have uh, next Monday, I'll probably do the same thing. I might do the classic, the creative. I will see what I'm going to do. But uh, if you guys are interested in watching another of my uh, training classes, um, uh, stay tuned next Monday. Okay, uh, let's see. Thank you so much. This is a real uh, perfection. Check it out. In a little, okay, a little too late. I have uploaded. Okay, I'll uh, leave it on my channel. It's a really long one. It's an hour 16 minutes. Uh, but anyway, there is a lot of uh, there is a lot of nice uh, uh, what should I say techniques in this one on blow drying, and also there is uh, some advice for upcoming barbers. Uh, I see a lot of new barbers from around the country and around the world are actually watching my channel, so uh, I have a lot of videos on my channel. Uh, and if you are starting in a barbering career, check those channels out, watch them. You will see a lot of, uh, you'll get a lot of tips on uh, many techniques. It's learned that you learn the uh, art of barbering. Uh, really, you should learn the proper technique from very beginning uh, and not fix the problem as you go down. All right. So let's see, we have Eric Cross, I believe he's from Italy. Uh, shout out to Italy. Uh, most, not most, but pretty much almost all my educate, uh, my instructors were from Italy. Italians are really some of the best hairstylists in the world, with exception of one of my uh, coaches was also from Puerto Rico. Shout out to Puerto Rico as well. Enjoy your day. Thanks for uh, coming in anytime. All right, guys. Uh, I mentioned the brush. I am planning to get that brush. Uh, this brush here. This is the brush that you guys need. Uh, I don't have it yet. My goal is to get it from China. Uh, and it's actually one of the best brushes. Uh, for styling. It's a nine row brush. It has to be a firm There are a lot of brushes similar to this one out there nine row brushes is very common brush but uh, the, Whether it's firm or not, it's what really matters uh, So when you work with a brush you have to be able to grab the hair and you know manipulate it uh, And this is really one of the brushes. That's I think good so if you are interested on in pre-ordering them, just uh, let me know, leave a comment. Uh, that way I know if it's really worth getting or not. 
Do you use a one and a half to start fades with all clippers or just detach detachable? Mostly just detachable, but you can use it with all clippers, but detachables are actually the best. I passed all my exams watching your video, learning from you. Thank you. You're welcome anytime. It's my pleasure. Uh, all right, guys, if you are in the United States or around the world, actually, and you would like to host one of my barber uh, my one of my workshops, uh, you can contact me through my website, mcbarber.com. You, you have a, a workshop page there where you can send me a... Uh, uh, your info and say that you are interested uh, as well if you are a school in the United States and you would like uh, me to teach a workshop in your school you can also contact me through my page which is mcbarber.com remember education is the key I still do education myself I have a couple of minutes if you guys have any questions please feel free to ask MC, I have a question. What is your question? One do vem no Brasil. I am not sure what that means. Hello, MC. Greetings from Albania. Hello, Albania. Albania is my neighbor country, and my mother was Albanian. Is Albanian. Anybody else? Um, thank you. He says, I love learning from you. I wish I meet you one day. Hopefully, I hope I meet most of my followers. On the detachable blades, how do you clean them, sanitize, disinfect? Well, first you remove all the debris and hair from them and then, uh, I usually just use uh, uh, what is it? Uh, cool Care uh, from Andes. Just spray them and leave them. When is your next competition? Are you going to film it? Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to film it, but I'm hoping to compete in France in September this year. What can we expect to learn this year? I think this year will be mostly on uh, blow drying and razor work for me because I believe that fades have been around for so long and people have mastered fades very well. Majority of the barbers do fades excellent. They really do. Uh, but where people are lacking big uh, is uh, the razor work. Razor work gives you beautiful texture. It gives you a really nice texture for volume. Uh, and uh, blow drying and styling is very important. Uh, scissor work as well. I mean, people have been learning scissor work for the last four or five years. People also got a lot better with scissor work. But uh, razor work and blow drying is what you're going to be seeing a lot for me, I believe. Americans can scissor cut. I need help with that. <laughs> well, not necessarily. I learned my trade in America. Uh, and my scissor work, uh, I think, is pretty good. Uh, most of the people actually, when I go to work a barber shop, excuse me, barber competitions, know me for my uh, scissor work. Any suggestions about what type of uh, blow dryer would be the best, or don't matter? Well, um, professional blow dryers is one. Italians make good uh, blow dryers. Uh, just make sure you use the air concentrator. How do you oil detachable blades? Well, there is just clean them and put oil on them. Any other? Let's see if I can turn. It's pretty cold and snowy outside. How quick do I sharpen the clippers? How often probably is the question. I sharpen mine every two, three years.
All right, guys, I'm going to leave this video on my channel. I didn't plan to, but I'm going to leave it since some people got um, checked in kind of late and they would like to see uh, the whole video. Okay, koliko sam čuo, jel da jete skolu vašu tako? Ne razumijem baš pitanje, izvinjavam se. Do you have any video on ethnic hair? I actually don't, I apologize. I will try to make one in the future, but not myself, one of my friends. Will we see you live soon? Probably next Monday I will have another video. All right, guys, thank you so much. I'll probably have another video coming tomorrow on my channel. It will be another pompadour. I know, I just keep on posting pompadours because they are popular these days. Okay, take care, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.